welcome student in the class of e-learning project management with microsoft excel okay in today's lecture we'll be learning about calculation of probability using microsoft excel so probabilities is simply how likely something to be happen whenever you are unsure or you are not sure about outcome of that event then we talk about the probability what is the probability of that outcome to come or how likely they are here you can see it this is dia 1 this is dia 2 okay all the number is 1 to 6 and 1 to 6 so what we have to calculate is outcome and probability so make this chart you can see the formula is the c7 is the dia 1 1 number and this one number is 2 okay same way we can calculate for further if you drag this formula this will come then again same You can drag all this is a basically multi addition of this two dia number so this way you can make it a your data set so finally this is your data set right if you die one is giving you three number and your die two is giving you four number then it's supposed to be seven so now we'll see the which way outcome can come so the first number is the lowest number you can say two then three then four we can drag all this so you you will get is up to 12 so student now we will see the outcome what is the formula for this we have to use a count if count if is asking a range this is our range and we have to give a criteria okay here you have to lock the cell so how to lock it the function f4 else will not get a result we have to this cell we don't have right so outcome will be 1 for the total number of 2 so similar way we can drag here so this is the outcome now how to calculate the probability so for the calculate from probability you have to calculate the total number how much is total is here you can see it's 36 right so here is to calculate the probability is equal to 1 this cell divided by the total number 36 right so you go to and reduce it and put a percentage right so similar way you can drag the formula down so here you can see it's 2.8 percent probability of getting a number total number 2 right likewise here is a 16.7 or a number 7 so if you want to go for a graph 
you can go for a graph recommended chart you will get this right so so here you can see number 7 is the highest so this is your answer ok student so hope you got an idea how to calculate probability using microsoft excel